Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is called Elapsed Time. This is lesson 10-7 in our textbook, and don't forget all your lessons can be found at mrmathblog.com. And in case you're wondering what's that music in the background, if that bothers you, please tell me and I will redo this lesson. My wife and I have a date and she's getting ready and I thought I'd squeeze this lesson in so you get to hear some music in the background. So here we go. Uh, there's our common course strand for our teachers and our question is how can we solve elapsed uh, time problems by converting units of time. So we're going to go from hours to minutes, minutes to hours. Here we go. Mrs. Viegas is asking her class to do the following. The first part is to convert 200 minutes to hours and minutes. And the second part is to compare that uh, to see if it is less than, equal to, or greater than four hours. Okay, well how much? Is, how many minutes are in an hour? Well, remember the minute hand, it moves from one number to the next. That is five minutes right there. So as we go from one uh, number to the next, it goes to the minute hand, goes for five minutes. Well, there's, there's 12 numbers in here, so 12 times five equals 60. But most of you guys knew that there were 60 minutes in an hour. Boy, I don't know if you can hear that rain. It's raining hard out there. Uh, okay, so we're going to convert minutes uh, into hours and minutes. So 200 minutes is going to be how many hours and minutes? So we're going to take that 200 and we're going to divide that by 60 minutes per hour right there. So we're going to take 60 and divide it in there. And we're going to get how many hours and what's our remainder? So I did long division right here. 60 goes in, well, 6 goes into 23 times. So 60 goes into 200 three times, and we get 180. 3 times 6 is 18, with that 0 is 180. So when we subtract, we get 20, and we're done dividing because 60 can't go into 20 right there, okay? So it's going to be 3 with the remainder of 20 right there, okay? So that just tells us how many minutes right there. So it's 3 hours and 20 minutes, so that's how many um, uh, hours and minutes 200 uh, minutes is, okay? So now, uh, remember, Mrs. Viegas asked us to compare that with uh, 4 hours. So let's go ahead and put our 3 hours and 20 minutes. Is that less than, equal to, or greater than? Well, it's definitely less than right there, okay? All right, so we're going to be using this conversion table right here. So 60 seconds, there's one minute. 60 minutes is an hour. 24 hours equals a day. Seven days equals a week. And then 52 weeks in a year, 12 months in a year, and 365 days in one year, unless it's a leap year. And this year for us, it's a leap year. So 366 days, but typically 365 days in a year, okay? So we're going to convert uh, to mixed uh, measures here. So this summer, Julia will spend 10 days with her, uh, with her cousins, 9 days with her grandparents, and 22 days at camp. So how many days a week, uh, how many, I'm sorry, how many weeks and days will she be away? So she's going to be 10 days at her cousin's house, 9 days at her grandparents, and 22 days at camp. Okay, so... Um, it, since it's asking for weeks, we're going to use this conversion right here, seven days in a week. And most of you guys knew that already, okay? All right, so uh, find the total number of days uh, away. So we're going to add up all those days, 10 plus 9 plus 22. I like to add these two numbers first, 9 plus 22 is one less than 10 plus 22, so it's 31. And then we add that 10 right there, that's going to give us 41 right there. You can add these. 10 plus 9 is uh, 19. 19 plus uh, 22 is also 41. Okay, other kind of ways to do that. This is close to 20. It's one less than 20. So if we added 20 to that and did one less than that, it'd still get us to 41 days. Just some other ways to, to add. Okay, all right. Uh, let's see. So now we're going to convert uh, those days, those 41 days, into weeks and days. So we're going to take that and divide it by 7. So 41 divided by 7. Again, I did that over here. I know 7 times 5 is 35. So when we subtract, we get 6. This is our remainder. So that's how many days and weeks there are. 5 days and 6 weeks. So Julia will be away for 5, I'm sorry, did I said 5 days and 6 weeks. It's the other way around. 5 weeks and 6 days she will be away from home. Sounds like an exciting summer. All right, so one way we can use a number line to find the elapsed time. So it takes Mary two and a half hours to finish a project if she started working at 10.30. So at what time will she stop working? So we're going to add two and a half hours. So if we add one hour from 10.30 to add an hour, it's going to take us to 11.30. 
and then we add another hour right there. 11.30 plus 1 is going to take us 12.30, so there's our, our two hours right there. Now we're going to add a half an hour, you guys. Well, a half an hour is 30 minutes, so let's add 30 minutes. So 30 minutes to 12.30 is going to take us right up to 1 o'clock, okay? So she's going to stop working at 1 o'clock. Here's another way, you guys. Uh, we can uh, use a clock to find the elapsed time. So she started at 10:30 right here. So if we add an hour, that takes us to 11:30. So uh, if we don't, you know, if we don't have these numbers down here. Just look at this clock. This is 10:30. It's halfway between 10 and 11, and the minute hand is on the six. So this is 10:30. Okay. So if we add an hour, that's 11:30 right there. Let's add another hour, so that's going to take us to 12.30 right there, and then we'll add the half an hour, so if we add a half an hour, it's going to jump it up to 1 o'clock right there, okay? So the starting time and the ending time is at 1 o'clock right there, so Mary stopped working on her project at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, okay? I'm, I'm assuming it's in the afternoon, yeah, because this is at 10.30, so so when it got went past 12, it went to p.m., so 1, 1 p.m. All right, so let's find the start time. Roger's baseball team needs to be off the field by 12.15. Each game is at most one and three quarters hours long. So what time should the game be uh, begin to be sure that the team finishes on time, okay? So uh, one-fourth of an hour is equal to 15 minutes. So three-fourths of an hour, if we multiplied three times 15, and if you don't want to do that, I just added 15 three times gets me 45 minutes right there okay so what we can do is we can subtract uh, the minutes first so we're going to subtract 45 minutes okay so this minute hand is going to go backwards there's 15 and then all the way down here it's going to take us all the way around down to there right there but don't forget this uh, hour hand goes backwards and it's in between this area so it's going to take us back to 1130 right there okay alright so then uh, so 45 minutes earlier is uh, at 1130 right there okay so there's that three-fourths of an hour right there now we just subtract off the hour so if we subtract the hour off of 1130 it's going to take us to 1030 right there so one hour and 45 minutes earlier would be at 1030 in the morning 1030 a.m. okay all right, so the game should begin at 10.30 a.m. Okay, so here we started at 12.15, and we took off an, uh, the 45 minutes, took us to 11.30, and then we took off another hour, and it ended us at, at 10.30 right there. Okay, so um, uh, explain how we can convert 3 hours, 45 minutes, uh, just 2 minutes right there. Okay, well, that's easy enough. Well, since each hour is 60 minutes, then 3 hours is going to be 3 times 60, or 180 minutes. And so if we add 180 plus the 45, that's going to give us a total of 225 minutes. All right, easy enough, huh? Okay, you guys, take care.